Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Now I just wanted to go through a couple of things with this new Ahsoka figure. Um, one sort of issue, if there is one with this figure, was the shoulders. Um, I have since fixed on this figure, but when I did my review, um, there's one thing, it's, it seems like the uh, shoulder joints don't actually sit in the arms properly. And I'll show exactly what I mean, because I've got a second one here. Um, I actually have a third one, but this one has a crumpled card, so I'm going to be opening this and demonstrating what I did to fix that issue, and we'll compare them side by side. So let me just quickly get that one open, and um, yeah, then I want to try the uh, Island Journey Ray robe. So, alright, so if we stand them side by side, and hopefully it focuses, if I zoom up a little bit, Probably if I pop my head off too, and you can sort of see the shoulders don't quite sit in the uh, in the cavity of the uh, the dentation of the uh, torso. There it doesn't really sit in there well. You can sort of see that extra length on the peg. Um, and yeah, if I go to this one, you can actually sort of see it sits in there. You know, it's marginally different, but it does sit in there, and it actually makes the uh, that sort of gold molding under the uh, armpit there sort of looks like it's a bit more part of the outfit. Um, so I decided I'd uh, tweak that a little bit. And I decided I'd share exactly how I do that. So for the moment, I'm just going to leave the head off. And what I have here is a mug of kettle boiling hot water. Um, so I'm going to completely just copy what I did the other day with that one. And that is just to simply hold probably from the from the shoulders down so the, so those arms are completely immersed in the boiling water and just hold them there for it probably only needs to be 30 seconds to be honest probably not even that long but we'll give it 30 just just to soften the plastic up to the point where the joints are going to be you know really quite simple to pop out the other thing you need is you know, a very sharp knife. I've got my little exacto knife here. Um, so we'll, we'll do this right now. All right, let's have a look. So yeah, a little bit of, so what we have here is we have quite a long joint and we have, you know, the, the dare I say it, bell end. <laughs> Um, the sort of that's that's the mechanism that locks it into the shoulder. So what I'm actually going to do is to allow a little bit more room. I'm actually going to very carefully cut it off there. So I'm literally taking that much off, leaving that on the arm. And there goes my light. <laughs> so then, while it's still warm, may need to do a redunk. It is a reasonably cool day, and the air's quite cool in my room, so it probably doesn't take long to uh, cool that plastic down, especially while you're working with it. Ever so carefully, just popping that joint back in. Pushing it a little bit further. And there you can sort of see the difference already. So we'll do the same with the other arm. Again, just sort of ever so slightly. Cutting that off, giving it a nice flat surface, redunking. Pop that shoulder back in. There we go. So what that does is it allows the joint to sort of sit in just that little bit further. So we have a slight improvement. It's 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 barely it's not a big improvement, but it's but it's good. Um, for me personally, I think it's a nice tweak. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Um, 
you have to excuse my Alexa just went off. <laughs> um, so now what I, the other thing I wanted to do was take the Island Journey Ray uh, soft goods that came with the vintage collection figure. And for some reason I thought it had a hood, but it doesn't. It's just sort of this folded down collar. Even though I'm pretty sure it had a hood in the movie. So, um, you know, if you've got another sort of hood like this, you could use something similar. Uh, you could trim down a Luke Skywalker robe to just sort of have that sort of same shape, but with a hood. Because, yeah, I wanted to just sort of see how it fits. So you can sort of have that that look from how Ahsoka was at the end of the Clone Wars in uh, Victory and Death. So there we go. Yeah, it's a pity, pity you don't have a hood with it. But, um, you know, it looks quite good. It looks good that way, I like it. There was a 5POA Ray Island Judy that had a plastic one too, um, but I don't have that on hand at the minute, so... So now I have two, two display options for, for Ahsoka. And with the two extra two lightsabers, I can uh, cut the blades off and use the hilts. Although I do think I have the hilts from the old uh, vintage collection. Ahsoka, so I may just use them instead and save these lightsabers. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. It's quite a quite an easy fix for the uh, shoulder thing there. I, th I just found it to be a slight issue. It's not a big problem. I know a lot of people wouldn't be too bothered by it, but um, yeah, it's just something that I wanted to fix up. And uh, I thought while I'm at it, I'm opening another one, so I may as well share how I do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Um, you can follow my continuing adventures of Star Wars action figure collecting and all the good stuff that I that I like to do and have some fun with my toys. It's good. So yeah, again, drop a comment down below. Say hello. Let me know what you think. Until my next video, may the force be with you always.